This motorhome is the Heimer B-Class MLI 790. It's a rather expensive motorhome and there's the cost. It's almost 200,000 euros and it will be by the time you've been shooting put some fuel in it. Well, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, four and a half ton basis. It's gone well over a ton of um, payload, 789 centimeters long, 235 wide, 296 in height. Now, start off price is 150,000. So it's got almost 50,000 or 47,000 worth of special equipment. And uh, let's now, uh, let's have a look inside. It's got a SLC chassis, uh, which means uh, that it's uh, the very well insulated and there's a flat floor throughout. Well, at least until you get the double bed at the back. There's a queen bed at the back. Huge amount of light. Can't really appreciate it in here because of the... Um, uh, we're in a hole. Uh, so, shall we come to the back and have a look? All right, double bed. They must be expecting the cold because they've got plenty of stuff. On, on top of it and either that or the heating's first or they want to save on gas and in that case I can understand it. Um, at the uh, um, cubby hole on each side of the bed to keep whatever stuff you might want to take to bed with you, mobile phone, empty beer cans and things of this nature. Here we have a wardrobe and above it of course the storage up here with a space to keep stuff in. Um, one thing I really appreciate is light, as I sort of I hinted on earlier. You've got a big window there. It's blocked at the moment because there's a vehicle right, quite right next to it. So I'll get you ready for the campsite. And no, that's an unfair comment. And uh, there's a lovely big window here as well. And there's a little telly here. If you wanted a bigger telly, I suppose you could put one in and hang it up on the wall. Um, above me up here, we've got the aircon. Bear in mind, that works on 230 volts, only you have to be plugged in. And uh, enormous shower. It's got a place where you can not only hang your socks, but also hang your towels. And that shower has almost two meters of clearance so even for really tall people wow it'll work so um here we have the toilet there and if you wanted to you can even close this via a soft uh plissé uh blind and i think that 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 is that this sort of thing here in my opinion is much better than a door uh, these solid doors I like that it's it's really light so it saves on um on weight for example that's the number one point and the second thing is when your vehicle's moving around it won't be making it clattering up well i've made my exaggerated there but uh, these doors okay when you buy them new they're, they're, they're a perfect fit but once you've been uh, driven down a few roads in italy then they they won't be uh a two sorry three range uh, hob you've got two sinks you've got the big one and for those not doing much washing up you've got the small one uh, up here very attractive uh, storage now there's a bed up there the bed uh, is electronic and uh, I'm suspecting it's, you know I, know, I know it's not plugged in, so I can't actually show it. But to make the bed come down, you've got to, uh, you've got to put the seats down as well. So the seats are like that now, and so it's got to come down like that. I can't do that with just one hand. And, uh, and apart from that, I'm in a hall, and there's other others around. But if I get the chance to do it in the showroom, then I'm by myself, I can do it. The um, bed, however, has a problem. It's, it's a maximum 100 kilos in weight. And that is not a lot. I mean, effectively, uh, that's two children, yes, uh, maybe, and one adult. Uh, 
You're finding two adults that weigh less than 100 kilos. Well, you might find two adult dogs weigh less than 100 kilos, uh, but not not uh, not people. At least uh, not in Europe or North America. And on the subject of weight, these things here only take 15 kilos. And I, th I really think Haima has let itself down. Now, like a drawer like this, you can imagine you might have things like pasta and groats and uh, uh, things of that nature, which salt, uh, that, which do tend to weigh a fair bit. And if that can only take 15 kilos, I'm not so impressed by that either. And there's uh, another one uh, which I'm not impressed by, same 15 kilos, and as with all of them, you've got these things here. It's not. I do appreciate you've got to save weight. Now, don't get me wrong on that one. The trouble is when you've got things like this, maybe in the kitchen doesn't make much difference, but in um, the living area, I think, uh, for clothing, it just, it just comes out. I, I know this from experience. It just sort of falls out. Then whenever I have a clean my van out like once every other year, um, I find the, you know, my best t-shirt or whatever. Okay, I'll put this up here. Under here, we've got the main television. It's down there, there you can see. And here, if you really want the two, you can make another bed. There's another bed that comes with it. I think just carrying a pile of clutter. Uh, but uh, you can see other beds and other videos uh, I've done. Now, I want to point out this fantastic double floor, which we've got here. So we've got the electrics, we've got uh, storage, we've got insulation, we've got the water tanks. I'll just take this one out here, we've got the fuses, and uh, there you go. And this one here, we've got the battery compartments. And I reckon you get about 700 ampere of lithium ferrous uh, phosphate in there, in my opinion. Uh, that's just based on uh, haven't measured it up properly. It's just looking at it. And obviously, fuses have to go somewhere, and this is as good a place as any to put them in. And others here we've got storage, and uh, got the water tanks, electrics down there, and it's all easy, easy access. You want to change the fuses or something, you don't have to go into the back of the vehicle to do so. So I think that, you know, it's really well, that's really well thought out. I, I really, uh, it's really practical, as is this big light up there. And here, another thing on the subject of being really practical, is this really good um, storage compact, which goes all the way through. Oh, somebody's going to talk. I'll just walk around. Good morning, dear exhibitors and visitors. We would like to welcome you to the preview day of Caravan Salon 2022 in Düsseldorf. We wish you an informative visit and a successful run of the event as well as a pleasant stay in our city. Bonjour, chers exposants et visiteurs. Soyez les bienvenus au preview day du Caravan Salon 2022 in Düsseldorf. Nous vous souhaitons une visite informative et les bons cours de la foire, couronnée de succès, ainsi qu'un séjour agréable dans notre ville. Bonjour, mon père, les auditeurs et les tutoriels. Nous avons un instant de minutes à la preview day du Caravan Salon 2022 à Düsseldorf. Oui, en moyenne, on a une visite informative et une exposition pleine de succès.
So I profited from the uh, lady talking and also here where I am uh, to show you uh, around that vehicle and also to show you the next one up with the double bed. And all of this stuff here is what makes up Oh, this stuff here, I should say, not, 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 not these two at the back, but this stuff down here, that's what makes up the extra bed. Uh, this one here, of course, has got this enormous dressing room as well. Uh, you saw the garage, which can take 350 kilos. And uh, you can also see sort of the other colour it comes in, which is that nice silver colour. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that of interest. And if you did, then you might want to subscribe. In the meantime, this is me. As you heard in the preview day, it's Caravan Salon Dusseldorf, Professionals Day. So thanks for watching.